This is a device, so-called ballistic pendulum. So because it goes ballistic, this is the pendulum. And uh, this is a spring gun. I can put a ball and shoot a ball into this catcher and the catcher should catch it. Hopefully it will work, you know. It's not a standard setup, homemade. In terms of energy, by the way, what did I do? Well, I ate. So I stored my energy in my muscles and then I used that energy to compress the spring. So I did some work on it. Now, the spring stores energy and technically that's a potential energy because it potentially could be used. And if I let it go, it will push on the plunger and the piston will hit the ball. The ball will gain kinetic energy, gets into this catcher and that energy can't disappear. So the catcher will begin moving and that energy well, when it gets higher and higher, will be transferred into the potential energy. Of course, eventually it swings back and forth, but there's a highest point it reaches. And uh, well, in the past, a device like that was used to measure how fast the bullet shot of a rifle would move because measuring the height, you could figure it out. Well, let's see, it's gonna work or not. Fingers crossed. It worked. I can see the ball inside. That's why I needed this so it wouldn't get out. So I had to catch it. That's why we call it a catcher. So uh, the ball was flying out. A ball, of course, represents the bullet. It has some mass and this uh, catcher has some mass. So, and then they basically collide and they move and then they may swing it back and forth for a while. That's it. That's what the ballistic pendulum is.